Hey everyone, so it's time for a very long overdue your film suggestions video. I have four films that some of you have suggested and I enjoyed most of them but I think one of them was a little bit hit and miss for me. So the first one suggested by Daily251 is American Werewolf in London and I'd wanted to see this one for quite a while. Now I will say it's not scary. I think it's an 18. Uh, I can't see the DVD from where I'm sitting. I think it's an 18, maybe a 15. Didn't think it was that scary at all. Maybe that's because I'm not that moved by werewolves as a, a monster or a creature. But the fact that these American teenagers come over to England and then one of them gets bit by this psychotic werewolf basically and starts to turn into a werewolf and kills people, we have quite a clear outline there of what to expect and it is good. But for me, it was seeing this werewolf running through the underground in London and um, there's a pub in Hampstead that features as well and it's, it's really, really quite an interesting story. But for me, what makes this brilliant, given the time when this was filmed, is that the, the quality of the transformation when he transfer, transforms from teenager to werewolf, watching that is incredible. If they recreated that film today, which I don't want them to, I think it would be hard to match because it's just insane the way he transforms and it's spectacular and for that reason alone I have to say it's brilliant. FK Vlogs recommended The Shining. Thank you very much, I'm glad I finally got around to watching this. Now this one is scary. Not scary as in I'm gonna have to put all the lights on, I'm terrified, but scary as in human nature. You look at it and you think, right, this is human nature. Yes, there are some kind of supernatural elements to it, um, maybe in psychosis aspects, but it is human nature and people can flip like that and everything that you know and love can be turned on its head. And if you're going to be trapped in the middle of nowhere, in a hotel that is beautiful and huge and full of people who you can't trust, it's a little bit scary and a little bit intimidating. And I just thought there was so much going on, so many different things to look at. It was absolutely brilliant. Um, I do think the novel isn't very good. I tried to read the novel about four or five years ago, almost five years ago now. Didn't really like it that much, but the film I thought was exquisite. Old What recommended Remains of the Day with Emma Thompson and Anthony Hopkins. Brilliant cast. The first hour or so was, it was a little bit slow going, a little bit slow to develop, which I often find is the case when you're dealing with them, um, sort of period dramas, period films. But after that it really picked up and we have this story here of a butler who is so dedicated to his work that he misses out on a lot of human emotions and that's such a shame, especially when you're watching it through the eyes of Emma Thompson's character, um, who I love a lot. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a good film. The first hour I could have kind of sped up a little bit, they maybe could have cut out a few bits, but when you get into it I think it's really nice. Not so much a love story, but more a case of work commitments versus real life and where do you draw the line, but I loved it a lot after the first kind of hour. Lastly, Andrea R requested that I watch Steel Magnolias and you know, I was talking to a few people about it and said, you know, what are you watching tonight? I'm watching Steel Magnolias. Oh Amy, you're gonna love it. Eh, it, it's alright. It's very, um, this is real life, these are real people. I think there's a lot in it that people could relate to. It's, it's bittersweet in some parts. It's quite a comedic film apparently. I didn't find it that funny. Uh, I think if you kind of like the whole this is a film I'm going to relax to, these are real people, real women, we're going to have a look at their lives, we're going to have a little laugh because we relate to them and their problems and uh, I don't know, it just, it was lacking something for me. It's not a bad film, I didn't see anything particularly bad about it, you know, the directing was fine, acting was fine, uh, there were no faults with the, the uh, dialogue from my perspective, it just isn't for me. If you have any suggestions for films you think I should check out for future your film review series or anything else, let me know and I will speak to you all soon. Bye!